worship you on this morning, Father God. Father God, we need, we must worship you in spirit and in truth, Father God. So now, God, we come to say thank you, Father God. Father God, we thank you, Lord God, for traveling mercies, Father God. We thank you for those that are here, Father God. We ask for traveling mercies and protection for those that are on their way, most gracious Heavenly Father. So now, God, we come to say thank you, Father God. Father God, we thank you now, God, for the preacher of the hour, Father God. Father God, we already know, Father God, we're going to get a word, Father God. So now, God, we just come to say thank you. We bless you. We honor you, Father God. We thank you for his help made on this morning, Father God. Father God, we ask, Father God, that you just continue to strengthen, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. So now, God, we come to say thank you. We love you. We adore you on this morning, Father God. We give you hallelujah praise on this morning, for that is the highest form of praise. So now, God, we just thank you for being God all by yourself, Father God. Father God, we thank you for forgiving our sins, which we have committed by thought, word, and deed. Just forgive us, Lord, today, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. So now, God, all of those who are under the sound of my voice say amen. the whole people of God. 
in the communion of the Holy Spirit, we are joined together in discipleship and in obedience to Christ. At the table of the Lord, we celebrate with thanksgiving the saving acts and presence of Christ. Within the universal church, we receive the gift of ministry and the life of scripture. In the bonds of Christian faith, we yield ourselves to God that we may serve the one whose kingdom has no end. Bless his glory and honor be to God forever. Amen. So, so, don't, 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 you know, that's what it is. 
scripture lesson. Amen. The scripture lesson today is found in the New Testament book of Romans in the 12th chapter. Romans. Verse number 18, when you have it, say amen. 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 And it reads on this wise, if it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. Mm. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Amen. amen. We will now have a selection from the voices of praise. Thank you. 
Everybody's testimony. Come on, how many people are going to serve me? Come on, man. Come on. How many people are going to sing? We serve a whole lot of people. Come on, how many people are going to serve the Lord? Come on, I serve the Lord.
the only side of the street that we can claim is our own side of the street. Yeah. I can't worry about what you did, what That's you did. Right. All That's I can right. do is clean up my side of the street. That's right. That's right. And live peaceably even with that neighbor. Mm. <laughs> my neighbor's well. here today. Not that, not, not that neighbor, <laughs> on the other side. <laughs> my neighbor on the other side. Right. I've got to live in peace with my neighbor. That's right. uh, with my co-worker, the one that's on the other side of the cubicle. Uh -huh. <laughs> the one on the other side of the telephone, we got to be at peace. That's right. That's right. We got to be at peace. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be long. I'm not going to be long. I'm going to give you three and we're going to get on out of here. Okay. First uh, point I want, I want to bring out in this little text is well, we need to seek to understand not just to be understood. Uh -huh. I, I grew up Catholic, and one of the prayers we learned was the the, uh, the uh, St. Francis Prayer of Assisi. Uh -huh. and, and it talks about being uh, uh, to understand rather than to be understood, to, to, to give love, show love, rather than always looking for love. Uh -huh. uh, so the first step towards peace and, and seeking peace in relationships is to understand others. You know, you don't know what people are going through. You, 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 you have no idea. Oh, she, I don't like her. She ain't speak. Well, you don't know what she what she's going through. She may not have even seen you. And you worry about she why she ain't speaking, why he ain't say nothing to me. In any conflict, the, the instinct is to defend our point of view. You don't understand. Well, you know, you know, uh, those other folk, a whole bunch of folks voted for the got a different point of view. That's right, that's right. Whole lot of folks got a different point of view. Woo, it's hard for me to try to understand. Well, 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 well. We defend our point of view with, with the fervor of a lawyer de de defending his client on the stand. Uh, and we, we dig in. You just don't un understand. But Proverbs 18 and 2 says, A fool takes no pleasure in understanding, yeah. but only in expressing their own opinion, his own opinion. So to, to have victory in relationships, it, it comes... Uh, sometimes it comes with a pause. What? Wait. Just pause. Think about, think about the other person just for a moment. Take time to understand where the other person is coming from. Their struggles. Their pains. What? What they're going through. I'm talking about. I'm talking. We so so hard on other people. Mm -hmm. You don't know what they're going through. Take a minute. Let right. me close your mouth. And listen. Lord Jesus. Take time to understand where they're coming from. Their struggles, their, their fears, their frustrations. Folks act like they act because they're going, they're going through something. They're afraid of something. That's, that's why they acting out. Uh, Dr. Webb would tell you, you know, we stop asking in school, what's the matter with you? We ask, what happened to you? What, what you going? What, what happened to you? Not, not what's wrong. It's easy. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Your little butt back to class. No, we ask what happened to you. You never know what people going through. That's right. You never know what people going through. So, so, so seek to seek to understand rather than be understood. But, but, but uh, the the next little point is I need, and I'm about to mess up the sermon. We 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 gotta. We gotta, we gotta forgive other folks. Um, okay, I'll talk over here. Forgiveness <laughs> is a pathway to peace. Some of y'all mad at Joker for since 1992. <laughs> and I said, well, what did they do? I don't know, but I ain't never gonna speak to them again. <laughs> Forgiveness is powerful. It's a, it's a powerful tool to reconciliation and healing. Ephesians 4 and 32 urges us to be kind and passionate to one another, forgiving each other just as Christ 
God forgave you. Holding on to resentment doesn't hurt anybody but you. That's like that's like I'm mad, uh, 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 drinking the poison and, and thinking somebody else gonna die. No, you the only one gonna get. That's right. Holding on to grudges, holding on to folks. We find victory when we release resentment. Resentment is the number one offender uh, of, of, of people that are addicts and alcoholics because they're harboring resentments. Yeah. Well, what's the difference between resentment and anger? I'm glad you asked. Well, you step on my shoe, I can get angry. Mm -hmm. okay. But if I'm thinking about it next week, that's a resentment. Yeah. I'm letting you live rent-free in my head. Yeah. Well, rent-free. Renting space in my head. They don't go on about their business and, and you still look, I can't stand that. They don't, they don't, they don't, they don't know. That's right. When you release uh, resentment, you get victory. When you choose to forgive, you get victory. Why? And, and I know you don't understand, Pastor, what, what happened to me. You got to let it go. You got to forgive. But you just don't understand. I just say forget. Mm -hmm. But you got to forgive. That's right. I just say become a doorman. Mm -hmm. But you got to forgive. Okay, I don't like me. You don't like me today. You got to forgive. That's all right, That's all right. Uh, the, I just say be a doorman. Mm -hmm. uh, but it clears the path of peace for you to walk through. <laughs> Whenever you don't forgive somebody, if they walk in the room, they don't, they don't, they don't, they, don't, they, don't, they, don't, they got power over you. Uh -huh. Right, right. They, you, you consume with, I can't, let it go. Yeah. You got to let it now. I'm not yeah. saying let it happen again. Right. Right. But you got to forgive. Right. You got to forgive. I'm done, y'all. We ain't going to be long. Amen. Third, third, third little point in this Sunday school message is, you got to be the first to act. Mm -hmm. I'm messing up the yeah. You got to be the first one. My Lord. Huh, huh. I'll forget, but, but she got to come to me first. No, no, no. You got to be the first. Let me talk over this. You got to be the first to forget. You got to be the first to act. I know you got crazy neighbors. I know they, I know, I know, I know that co-worker, she a man, but you got to be the first to act. You can't wait for the other person to extend the olive branch. You got to be the one. That's right. Followers of Christ. That's us. Jesus said, blessed is the peacemakers, mm -hmm. for they will be called children of God. That's right. The peacemakers. He didn't say the peace waiters. Well. He didn't say the peace wishers. Well. <laughs> the peace wannabes. And well. Or the peace, uh, when when they apologize to me, then I apologize to them. No, Jesus said, blessed are the peacemakers. Yes. Uh, sometimes being the peacemaker means that you've got to make the call first. Well. You got the number. That's right. <laughs> you got to make the first call. Amen. You got to text saying, uh, we need to talk. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm sorry about the way I acted. Uh, you got to offer the kind word first. Uh, you got to take the step, even if it feels uh, it goes against your beliefs and your constitution. Uh -huh. You got to be the first to act if you're going to be the peacemaker. Yeah. I'm done, y'all. Uh -huh. uh, but the Bible says. Uh, I want you to why the preacher say uh, the Bible says because the Bible says in Proverbs 17 and 17 says a friend loves at all times and a brother is born for a time of adversity. Colossians says uh, in 3 and 13 bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has a grievance against someone Forgive as the Lord has forgiven you. First Peter 4 and 8 says, Above all, love each other deeply because love 
covers a multitude of sin. I'm glad about it. In Ephesians 4 and 2, it says, Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Proverbs 27 and 17 says, As iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. James 1 and 19 says, My dear brothers and sisters, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to be angry. 1 Thessalonians 5 and 11 says, Therefore encourage one another and build each other up just as in doing so to yourself. Ecclesiastes 4 and 9 says, Two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. Paul said in Romans 14 and 19, Let us therefore make every effort to do what leads to peace and mutual, and mutual edification. Philippians 2 and 3 says, Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather in humility, value others above yourself. Oh, I'm so glad we've got a God that taught us about relationships. For God so loved the world. Did I say God so loved the world? God so loved the world. Not the black world. Not the white world. Not the Jewish world. Not the Palestinian world. But God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth on him shall never perish but have eternal life. That's not the end of it. While we were yet sinners, the Bible says that Jesus died. Yeah, he died for us. I'm about to mess up the sermon. Wives, honor your husband. Wives, honor your husband. But then he says, men love your wife as Christ loved the church. I'm glad that I know it today. My brothers and my sisters, I'm so glad that we can live at peace with everybody. 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 We need to live in peace. Come on, pray for peace in our relationship. Pray for peace in your marriage. Pray for peace in your relationship with your children. On the child. On the block. We need peace in our relationship. Pray for healing in strange relationships. Pray for healing. Some of y'all ain't talk to your cousin. Some of y'all ain't talk to your sister. In 20 years, it's time to stop the foolishness. Come on and reach out. Reach out. for power and healing in all relationships. I'm telling you, your life will be a lot easier. We thrive on anger. Anger is uh, one of those emotions that it's easier to deal with anger than to deal with pain. So, if someone causes you pain, it's easier to be angry with them. But I'll tell you, anger is a cancer. Resentment just eats away at you. Let it go. Let it go. So what? She took your blouse three years ago. So what? Somebody took your sneaker. So what? Let it go. Jesus. 
Jesus has forgiven you and you and you and you. And if you haven't forgiven yourself, that's arrogance on your part. How you not going to forgive what you've done if Jesus has already forgiven you? But you don't know how bad I've been. the name had been done before. Forgive yourself. Then you can forgive others. He's a good God. I want to extend the invitation today. There may be someone today. You, you may never have given your life to Jesus Christ. Jesus is still the answer. He died for our sins. That we may have the right to the tree of life. If you've never confessed Jesus Christ, why don't you come? I'll pray the prayer of faith with you. Second invitation, you may not have a church home. I would love you to be a member of this church. We're a Bible-believing church. Bible-based church. We even have Christmas parties at this church. to be your pastor. Why don't you join? Why don't you join New Life? Come on, everybody stand to me. New Convert Church Membership. Is it one today? Come on, is it one today? Man, woman, boy, or girl that will come while, while you yet have an opportunity. Why don't you give your life to Christ? Why don't you dedicate your life to Christ and Christ Church? Is it one
Somebody needs a child, but God, we know that you're able. So this week, God, we pray that you will open doors. We pray, God, that we will get the call that we've been waiting for. We pray, God, for open doors in the name of Jesus. We pray, God, that you will continue, oh God, to make ways out of no way. Make crooked places plain, rough places smooth. God, we need you. We pray, oh God, for our communities. We pray for our elected officials. We pray for those that even oppose us. When you said pray for those that despitefully use you. God, we know I'm your hand of protection. Right now, Lord, we're praying for supernatural blessings. We're praying for checks in the mail. We're praying for debt cancellation. We're praying, oh God, for healing of the body. We come against all manner of sickness in Jesus' name. Everyone under the sound of my voice, God, we pray that you will heal bodies right now. It is in Jesus' name. We pray for deliverance, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Destroy every yoke that binds in Jesus' name. Whatever the yoke may be, God, we pray that you would destroy it in the name of Jesus. Man, and heal broken relationships. We pray, God, for marriages. Increase love levels in the name of Jesus. We pray for strained relationships children, oh God, in Jesus' name. Touch, oh God, only as thou can. And then, Lord, when praying days will be over, when hymn books and Bibles will be closed, when we can no longer come to new life with anybody else's church, pray, God, that you will give us a home in your kingdom. Over there where Job said the wicked will cease from and the weary shall be in rest. Somebody's got a loved one over there waiting. Someone's got a mother over there waiting. somebody got a father over there waiting. Lord, we pray for our homes in your kingdom. This is our prayer. This is your servant, Lord. It is in Jesus' name. In the name of all other names. with us, henceforth now and forevermore, and all of God. 